Okay, we're going to continue with sample exam 2, chem 11 on number 4. This one, the question is about a dilution uh, of a solution of a buffer called pipes. And you're trying to get this to a working concentration of 100 millimolar with the stock initially starting at 0.65 molar. You also are told that you're going to want a volume of 550 milliliter for the final solution. So the question is how much water, and notice that water is being underlined here. So that's the quantity you're trying to solve for. So you start with a smaller volume of solution, right? And this is the one that is at 0.65 molar, and you're going to add some water to make this solution more diluted, and that's the new solution with concentration of 100 millimolar and volume of 550 milliliter. And the volume of the first one, we don't really know. We can call that V1, and we can call this volume 2 V2 using the symbols that we typically use for dilution. And of course, we have that dilution relationship, which is M1 V1 equals M2 V2. Now, one of the things you want to be careful about is the question actually asks for water that you're going to need to add to make solution one become solution two. So if you want the volume of water, what you need to do is figure out what the final volume of the solution is, which is V2, and then subtract that from volume of solution one, V1. So in other words, you first have to solve for V1 because we don't have that right now. But then once we solve for V1, we have to subtract it to obtain the volume of water. So let's do that. We're gonna do our M1 V1, M2 V2, and then solve for V1. So V1 is gonna be M2 V2 over M1. And we'll just plug in some numbers here. The molarity could be written as 0.1 molar, which is the same as 100 millimolar. The volume here could stay as milliliter because we're just trying to solve for another volume we can use that same unit at the end 0.65 molar is m1 and so when we work this out this ends up being 84.61 milliliter so that's our v1 right and then so to get the water remember what we're going to do is subtract v2 which is 550 minus V1, which is 84.61 milliliter, and that should give us 465.4 milliliter. And so that answer is B.